Let me go and show. I'm just setting up. It's you know, it's a little starting crazy. You know what I mean? Steady rain on the way, and we could hear thunder we'll fall back to around 50. Early rain for Sunday. The storms developing for the afternoon as we hit the low 60s for our Sunday night. There's occasional scattered showers and storms, and we are going to run that temperature back to around 45. Stray shower possible early Monday. I'm Jeff Eno from the Weather Channel for Talk Radio 680 WCBM. Please listen. This is important. Anyone can be affected by the prescription opioid crisis. If you think of it like a video, yeah. it's prescription opioids like oxycodone. Hey, Mike Coleman, join Hey, Mike, how you doing, man? How you doing? Produce bankruptcy, but you have to file a claim. Claims may include overdose, death, substance use disorder, lost wages, and nearly an abstinence syndrome. Confidential claim can be filed by individuals and legal guardian for survivors or relatives of people who have died or are disabled. The deadline to file a claim is June 30th. it's three hours of real news, informed opinion, traffic, and weather on the threes, and your calls. Don't miss the morning drive with Casey and Elliot, weekday morning, six to nine on Talk Radio six eighty. You got it, CBM. The views and opinions you hear on Talk Radio 680 WCBM at WCBM.com are not necessarily those of the owners, management, employers, and advertisers of WCBM, but they should be. The Pat McDonough Show is brought to you by Rally for America. Okay. Hey, baby. Is Talk Radio 680 WCBM. Time now for the Pat McDonough Show. Here's your host, Pat McDonough. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Super Citizen Radio with your co hosts, Pat and Valerie McDonough. And we have some special guests with us this evening. We have State Delegate Joe Bodler here, and uh, we have a lot of stuff going on you don't know about in the state with the relationship with the General Assembly. Now that the uh, special session has been canceled, Valerie, stop banging on the microphone. <laughs> Every week she bangs on the microphone. I don't know. Let me continue. And we also have uh, Mark Sullivan, the owner of the Great River Watch Restaurant and Marina uh, down in the Middle River, Essex area. And, of course, Mark is the victim, like a lot of business owners, and we really want to talk with him about uh, his situation he can explain it to us firsthand. If you'd like to join us, you can call us at 410-922-6680. 1-800-922-6680 is toll-free uh, yeah, um, long distance. And, and subject, please uh, try to stick to the subject the business, we're talking about uh, you know, the with the panel. Now, the also, you can pick us up anywhere in the world, including China, in WCBM.com. Uh, sure so so if the Chinese are listening, calls, you're going to be get, getting crashed on. later in the program. <laughs> So I want to start talking about this lockdown uh, thing. And Larry Hogan, yeah. now we had the big protest you, in you Annapolis. Want to talk about this small and I was driving on, right. uh, oh All gosh, right. I don't even know the name of the road over in Middle River. What's the guy that owns Something. the auto shop? O'Donnell. Cliff O'Donnell. Yeah. He had a gigantic 4 by 8 sign up. looked like a political sign. It says, Hogan, open up Maryland. Right. And I think you're going to start to see that kind of stuff. No. Uh, we are already, according to Peter Francho, Peter $4 Francis. billion dollars oh, no, I'm in, sorry, the Peter in Maryland. That's the state government now. Somebody God has... knows how much we're in the hole in reference to business in the private sector. 30 but days in the hole. Dollars. We, we started out when everything was rosy <laughs> and normal. We were already at It's all rosy and normal now, isn't it? Uh, in the structural deficit, right, the so-called structural deficit. And um, there are 30 million workers who have lost their oh, jobs really in the United like States. Like and this. one in four hey, stretch. businesses Woo. in this country believe Nick, 
Woo! Ahoy, Captain! Lock they will not be able to reopen. One can force. Oh, it might. Thousand workers. Oh, we got two mics. Mike Coleman, Mike Paula, join. In the Nick, state of Maryland. Stick around, you're gonna die. Wow. You're gonna die. How much money is that costing us people without jobs? And uh Oof. Hogan, this is interesting. Hogan gets a lot of praise uh for some things, which I'm not saying he doesn't deserve that, okay? But just this week for the first time, the Baltimore Sun began to criticize him about his policies in relationship to uh the seniors and the people in nursing homes in maryland which is very bad but yeah. another question that i bring up personally is hogan has released two thousand inmates from jails and prisons in maryland now i don't know are they going to have a job where are they going to live and, and he's locked the people in maryland up but he's released two thousand inmates so I, I don't know how well thought out that was and there are some crazy things like uh the mayor of Los Angeles is offering snitch rewards. Oh! You tell on your somebody in the oh. park that didn't have a mask. You know they have snitch rewards, and in California, I'd be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in oh. California, sheriff's deputies oh. were arresting people that were on the rivers in kayaks. They're not supposed to be there. So anyway, that brings us up. To Arrest the kayak are. people oh. now. A three step plan, Mark, and I don't know if you have <laughs> hold of this. But, hey, Stretch. Uh, step How you doing, brother? Businesses. I'm down the hall, man. I'm punching in. I'm missing you all the time. I'm have. sad. I'm sad. And that's I'm sad. That's now, I believe. With curbside pickups and drop offs, yes. which you said you were thinking about. We're going to start April 1st. I know our other restaurant, the Bowman, they've been doing it. And they've actually been doing okay. And I know a couple places have been extremely well, actually. I'm for, sorry, I forgot to mention, you also have Bowman's right. Restaurant, yes. which is in Delegate Bowman's District. Yeah, actually. Yes, yes that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. A good, good place. place. Good place. Yes. Uh, we're going to have religious, this is stage one, it's called. Right. Religious limited attendance uh, for outdoor worship. They're going to open up gyms. They're going to have fishing, golfing, boating, tennis, and other outdoor activities. That's stage one. Uh, stage two is going to allow larger social gatherings, indoor activities, masses uh, for indoor religion. We do. Stage three is uh, fewer restrictions on visiting hospitals and nursing homes. And a massive tax increase. You know, also, right. yeah. That's and also in stage two, they're going to start opening up daycare again. Now, Which how does is, that work? Well, that's going to be kind of interesting because the people are going to have to wear masks, and they expect children that are over the age of three will have to wear masks at the center. Happen. No, it's not going to happen. Not for long. I've got grandkids, and you can't get a mask on them. So you can't take them shopping like you have to go to the grocery store or something sure. like that. You just yeah. can't take them. Now, how about trying to do talk radio with a mask? <laughs> no, we can try. Let me try and have one with me. Uh, uh, so uh, but anyway, Mark, I want to start uh, with you, really, sure. in particular, to share with us uh, how you had to go about dealing with your employees. You have a restaurant and you deal with boaters. You have a marina. You have another restaurant that's on the water. You have a marina. Right. Uh, no, I'm sorry, a restaurant in delicate Bodler's office. Uh, you have to deal with all these people that work with you, and then you have all your regular customers. Right. Uh, it's a lot. T tell us about well, your experience. I'm, I mean, with our employees, most of them have filed for unemployment. You have to make sure that uh, that all goes well. You know, I mean, my sister and I did a lot with that. She did most of it, but it's a lot. It's a lot of work, and I can see a lot of people kind of not doing the right doing the right steps and everything to make sure that all their employees are yeah, one is getting them unemployment yeah one of the things mark that you're going to have a problem with is your unemployment insurance is going to go up and that yes, and who's yes. that going to hurt the business owner sure okay well that's a great point and i'm going to tell you i'm glad joe bodler's here because there are going to be many needed proposals i'm going to say it right now joe there's going to be a special session it's oh, not yeah. going to be in may the yeah. governor's going to call a special session in september at the latest for a lot of reasons. One regarding uh, litigation with nursing homes and hospitals. Another one regarding uh, tax increases that may be needed. But you guys are going to have to limit the amount of money that is going to be needed for unemployment for businesses like Mark because 
this is like an act of God, or if the Chinese are God, so it's an act of God. And the fact of the matter is that under normal conditions, Mark and other businesses, their unemployment would not go up. And if people don't know what I'm talking Brandon about, Williams. the way the system works is if so you have like 10 employees and you lay off five of them, your unemployment insurance, which you must pay for, goes way up. Yeah. 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 Very and, and the sad part is yeah. it very rarely goes down. Right. And, and the business right. like what Mark would have. You know, there it is, a little better, huh? Crazy stuff going around. Like it's crazy sure. stuff, Randy. Help me out, Randy. Go get Steve. Go get Stretch, Randy. Never. Stretch. Help there us all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's going to be scary. It's going to be scary a couple months into it because um, I know with, with me and and you know having a restaurant on the water and I'm, I'm looking at places like Ocean City. You know, all these places they make all their money during the summertime. You know, yeah, um, sure. And if we yeah. we get into July, get into July. Um, you know, a lot of places that don't have a lot of money backing them up aren't going to be well, there. One thing is, look at today how beautiful it was. You mean to say people did not want to go to Ocean City? I mean, right. I, I thought of it. First thing I thought of. It. Well, in where we live, in uh, Middle River, and I guess you could say uh, maybe Essex and, and certainly parts of Dundalk, we're, we're water oh, people. Hey, 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 we're hey, restaurants, hey, very popular, it's very new well-known an iconic restaurant people you? love it and we have a number of restaurants like that down uh, there ten of them. i yeah. think there's ten of us yeah there, and, so. and I, I really shouldn't be saying this because i don't want people from other parts of the state to know about that <laughs> well one, one thing let me finish up would you please <laughs> we're not at home we do this all the time yeah we do <laughs> you know it's too well so right. the, but the point i was making is that's our lifestyle we're used to that Right, we have boaters. Is that tape? Was that, that on phone? Is that on phone? Keep it hidden from the rest of. The I'm being people. attacked. But you're right. I'm being attacked. Is important. If this kind of thing would go into the summer, I mean, you can go to certain restaurants. I'm not saying yours, but restaurants similar to yours in January. <laughs> hey, anyway, I see what I did for once. They don't do very well. I see what you do. I see you know, I they see have to make right. that money in the summer. So I, uh, I guess in one way, Mark, it's kind of fortunate that uh, no, no this thing is occurring now. But God help us. That, if it continues, well, I hope phase one goes in quickly, and I think right. phase two, hopefully within another two weeks, three weeks, maybe. Um, I think it will be okay then. As long as you know, our busiest months are actually June's our busiest month, May second, and then July third, August fourth, and then September fifth, and then April sixth. Or the third, you know, you know, yeah, our but busiest months. You know, Mark, um, one of the shit. issues you're going to have early is that when you open these restaurants, they're going to. How they say hi? Social. Timothy Gary, Oh, you got it. Sure, because you're, you say your capacity is going to probably be fifty percent right. of right. what you normally. That's why. Two minutes. You know, I kind of laugh at the fact they, you know, bar. Right I mean, how do you have social distancing in a so, bar? And I, I have a big issue because I use a musician. They got tight. Yeah, four days a week. And I, I feel really bad for them. But how am I going to pay a band if I can only have one walk, quarter walk of the people? Walk for that you know, it's just say yeah, I want to have a band today. Or what are they going to do about me? Hello, yeah. How are you? So, so why so millions are, of people are watching you know, the 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 you how many people are when it came to the unemployment um, how difficult was it for the employees to you know to fill out the forms it ought to be done well my, truthfully my sister does most of that stuff and she had to fill out i think like 25 and they come in and she has to make she has to say that yes this is when they stop work blah 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 and um, there's a lot of them. It's a lot of work for her to do. Because I know, like with my wife, then she has, I think, 14 teachers. WCBN, the Pavic Thunder Show, Ron Tapp here. She had 11 of them. And, and half of them are getting well, letters. David, hold on. Let me get you in the No, you're not a computer. Call this number. Nobody right, David, answers the number. <laughs> the so where are you calling from, Dave? Something that is emailed. San Francisco. Address, nobody. In, and then they get a letter. And what's that to talk about? Sorry, keep it on the subject. Small bit of proof. Make sure everybody keeps going through this right now. So, you know, this system is, I don't know if it's just so over. I, I think, okay, you got Dave, I'm putting it's like having a cook and a waitress waiting on 200 people. It is just, it's not going to run well. It's not going to run well at all. One of the things I just thought of, you just mentioned it, Joe, is what's the point of having these restaurants? Because you're going to have to have a lot of people. And they just got certified for getting unemployment. 
are they going to get all those back weeks? Yes, they are. They're all going to get back. That's a good question. And on top of that, they do get that six hundred dollars. Right. For six fifty, I can't remember. Oh, no, 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 it's twelve hundred. No, no, no. That's a lot of one time. Three minutes. Right. Right. Oh, I see. It's an additional. Oh, it's it is a question that you bring up. your live Facebook. Yeah, it's My life? No, it's a live. Live Facebook. 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 Wow. Uh, I thought it was a one-time hiring. You may have trouble, hiring. Thing, you may have week trouble week. hiring your people. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that's a fact. You know, the other thing about right, this so is that, um, this, see, this was another uh, go where through? Hogan did not do the job. This is where he failed. Do I only have to hear any stories, all right? And I'll call the radio station. I'll listen. I'll bring the camera. The Department of Employment Security. Which is where they have the no, it should be good. I, know, I, I guess it's be good. Right from right from the beginning. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist right, to hanging understand that. I got a little bit of sausages. On the computers but, and on the phone calls. And Betsy Booth. So finally, two weeks ago, Hogan yeah. transferred. All right, all right. Now, uh, well, Cosmo's here. Kelly Schultz. He's the secretary. Cosmo's here. For governor. You know that? Cosmo's here. Oh, this one, sir, I'm sure this will be brought up. All right, now we have a call from Dave in San Francisco, who is on the left, I'll tell you. I hope you made it because I said that. But we, he and I always start out, he and I always start out in a nice way, and then we wind up in a fight. So we'll see where it goes. Dave, good evening. He parted the scene. Good news from out here in San Francisco. We, uh, our death rate, as of uh, a couple of hours ago, was 22 people total. Whoa! Because we shut it down. 22 We're people, that's all in Fagville? Jesus. About the money. We're, we oh. know that the only way to stop an epidemic all. is to just stop moving around, stay at home, me, me read a good book, right, don't go out, hustling around, I, just stay at home. Well, how about the, uh, the depression? Virus that's going to be coming in uh, when people well, will have to stay home because, she didn't know place to go because all the businesses are closed. See, I got, I got a full, full studio, full studio. I mean, full studio, everybody. I mean, can you see what's going on? See the other one in the hall. There's the other one in the hall. Hmm. Right, please let me do my show. Let me do my show. Well, let me ask you something now. Let's get our flight started, okay? <laughs> here's here's what here is my observation of everything. Now, the, the Democrats, the liberals, the progressive, these are folks that believe in equality. They believe in fairness. And yes, it's true. They believe in helping their fellow man. They are compassionate. They uh they they will always they have an eye on you. <laughs> Uh, the Republicans I got are, uh, I got not yeah. that way. You know, right. you know, we push grandmothers right. off cliffs and wheelchairs right. and things of that nature. <laughs> but what I have noticed in the Democrat governors all across the country, all and uh, Gavin Newsom did a good job in your state, by the way, but the Democrat governors Ooh. all across the country, they See, this is too much of it. I'm working hard, so I need a little glass of Chianti, a little glass of Chianti. The rights of assembly. Oh. They're promoting what Dave is talking about, including our governor, who is a Democrat. He claims he's a Republican. <laughs> and the Republicans are the opposite of what Dave is. Jimmy the They want a little more Jimmy the private sector. Brady Williams. Woo! And also calls me. Dave, have you observed that? The only calls me. Uh, that I know. Did you hear what I was saying? That the only way to stop it happening. Four minutes over commercial, baby. Everybody to we go stop again. And if we've got 50 Well, states, we've been doing that for eight weeks. Oh, do you, do you know how long we've been doing it? February 5th. We've been doing it, what, uh, 13 weeks now? Oh, uh, yeah, probably, and, yeah. And, I, we've, and we are waiting for you to stop fooling around. And well, no, our state, uh, Dave, the money. Dave, our state, we, we have a, a Republican Democrat who is following the Democrat philosophy of lock them down, lock them down, lock them up. Well, uh, we don't need to. Uh, we we've been locked down. Locked down, baby. Locked down. Locked down, locked down, down mama. Woo, woo. We've given you hassle. 
That's a good thing. You know, now, now you, what was the next convention that was going to come? Well, they had to cancel Facebook. them. We've canceled. We've canceled. Right. We've canceled. Facebook would have been one million dollars. Yeah, we've canceled all. We, Dave, we've canceled. We've, that we've canceled yeah. all of our conventions. Now, what about the business? In one week, business? though, in one week, we lost a billion dollars. The next week after that, and think about Facebook. We would have had everybody from all around the world coming to a Facebook convention in San Francisco. Right. And then heading home. Well, that makes sense. I mean, we're all and doing so that. Then the next week, game developers also a billion well, dollar. Well, Dave, you know, in our state, I don't know whether you're aware. I don't know whether you're aware of this or. This is an epidemic. Dave, I, I don't know. I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but in our state, Maryland, the capital of the United States is here. It's in Washington mm -hmm. D.C. is in Maryland, and their big convention center is definitely in Maryland. It's right next to the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. Right. And that you talk about conventions, they have a convention every half a day. Uh, so they've all been shut down. But anyway, why did you people out there in San Francisco elect that communist as your state's attorney? <laughs> uh, uh, first of all, we didn't elect a communist. Yeah, you did. Second of all, uh, it's not a state's attorney. Woo! Uh, a city attorney, district, or district, district attorney, attorney, district attorney, and and he's not a communist. Woo! Well, his mother and father were communists, and he certainly Woo! a leftist. You, 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 you know, I, I don't even want to get sidetracked with the <laughs> argument about. Well, that's a dopey people. thing to do. That's the guy that George Soros supported, gave him five hundred thousand no, dollars. Totally just like that guy. Oh my <laughs> God! I'm, well, I Soros has I invested. Soros has invested <laughs> money. Including in our state's attorney, uh, including in our, 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 our state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, he's invested there. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Let, well, I'm going to tell you something about George Soros and Tom Steyer and all these other fellows, okay? They're leftist, radical people, but I'm going to say one thing about them. They put their money where their mouth is, and they're smart. They want to promote their agenda. Soros put me behind state's attorneys all across the country, or district attorneys, whatever they call them including Mosby, and they're all soft on crime. They're all roll up. The woman up in Chicago that let that movie actor go, over. that let that movie actor go, she was one of Soros, this guy. But we are way over. past our break time, so let us take a break, and we will be right back. A water shade of pale. For the best hits of the 60s, and 70s, and 80s, listen to the music at home, in the car, or at work. Wake up with a person person and get radio hugs from Diane Lynn weekdays at 6 and 10 a.m. Baltimore's classic hits are on 99.9 .9 FM in Harvard County, Q1370.com, the Q1370 mobile app, and on music radio, Q1370. Are you always apologizing for your dog's behavior? Need help communicating? At Canine Concepts, we can solve your problems. The answer to your problems is a phone call away. Call 410-477-2000 for a free demo evaluation. Call 410-477-2000. Obedience, protection, handicapped assistance, boarding, grooming, puppy preschool. Visit canineconcepts.com. The best for your dog. Call 410 410- Four seven seven two thousand. Are you facing tax problems? No matter how long it's been since you last filed, if you have faced unemployment, loss of a family member, divorce or illness and feel you can't afford to fix your tax problems, contact Advantage Tax Service, the tax killer. With the Tax Killer Rescue Plan, you have options you'll find nowhere else. Since 1989, Rose Harbaugh, former IRS employee, has helped many Marylanders and others outside the state resolve their problems. 
And Vantage Tax Service has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and works overtime to assist the taxpayer to avoid additional penalty and interest. They are here all year, preparing each return as if it were their own. And Rose Harbaugh, owner of Advantage Tax Service, met and was interviewed by Tom Barr when he did her ads. So give Rose Harbaugh, former IRS employee, a call at 410-869-TAXX, 410-869-8299, or online at taxkiller.com. That's taxkiller.com. I fish. I also clean local waterways oh, so others can fish and swim. Oh, this is a commercial. I help build public boat ramps. For I build boat ramps too. <laughs> I provide fishing and water safety education for kids. I maintain a healthy fish population. WCBM. For tomorrow's anglers oh, the the show, Rock, I have news conference. I prevent unwanted species from spreading Definitely into pleasure. waters where they don't belong. I restore the condition of rivers and would like fish to and wildlife thrive. I fund long-term plans to protect our lakes and streams. I do all of these things and more, all because I buy a fishing license. Okay, you buy a fishing license, you do a lot. In fact, every dollar license that, that purchase protects and enhances your waterways for future generations right, to enjoy. To learn more about how you can get your fishing license, go to takemefishing.org. That's takemefishing.org. Hi, this is Sean Casey. Join me each and every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. for the all-new Rescue Helpline show, where we'll talk about natural solutions to w- WCBM? optimization. Dr. Jeffrey Shapiro. Oh, okay, hold on. Question on how the all-natural supplements can benefit you. This Jesus is every Christ. Sunday morning at 8. And I don't know what's wrong. To a natural and healthy lifestyle. There we go. Brought to you by Rescue Supplements for your heart and health. The all-new Rescue Helpline show on Talk Radio 680 WCBM. And now more of the Pat McDonough Show on Talk Radio 680 WCBM and worldwide at WCBM.com. Welcome back, everybody. Super Citizen Radio. We have with us this evening State Delegate Joseph Bodler and a businessman, the owner of the River Watch Marina and Great Restaurant. Lovely place, I'm telling you. In spring, anytime, I've been there many times. So I've been uh, thrown out a few times, but I've been there many times. Hey, you have it. <laughs> Almost. No, I, I, I was always really treated well. Uh, for what reason, I have no idea, but I always was. Uh, but a beautiful place with nice decks out there. And the boats are there. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's just wonderful. That whole lifestyle. I talk about it too much on this radio show. Now all the millionaires are moving down in, in the water, building these houses. And everything, and our property taxes. At, right. at, no more shacks. At, at what more? Okay, okay, sir, hold on, please. I'll put you right. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Beautiful. Okay. Right. It's beautiful. Now we have two cancellations. Congressman Harris! Because you have a beach area, too. Yes, we do. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's uh, uh, next door. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Great, yeah. Uh, crazy tuna. Yeah. Oh, okay. They, they have a beach. Mm-hmm. And Sunset Cove has a pool. Oh, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, it, it's great, and also they do banquets, and and we've had a number of private events there. It's a wonderful place to right. do a private event. You had to uh, tell them, otherwise we'll go off and never, ever, ever. Then we'll have to call uh, Timothy Akrowski. And then, oh my God! Anyway, he has a lot of information. I've had Andy on the show a number of times. He shocks me how much he knows. I mean, he's very helpful. He's fired. He's fired, Timothy. But oh man, Dad, little Randy to throw out. You're the witness. I didn't do not. I didn't do not this time. I had to go (laughs) down the other day for business, and the squeegees are in full force. Oh, Oh, wow. And on Dundalk Avenue and Eastern Avenue. I knew it. No, no, I'm not sorry. Dundalk and yeah. what's that road there where Uh, where Squires is located? Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. It's like 10 of them. None of them have masks. They're gathering together. They don't have gloves. Uh, And you know what the police say? The police say, we don't know if that's the city or the county, so we can't do anything. So it's a free safe so, zone CBN, for some uh, And let us talk to our great congressman. Who has oh, been Pastor been Lewis, I got you. Um, Andy, are you with us? Okay, Pastor. Ron, wake up in there. He's on. Get the see. congressman He's on. on. Hold on, on one second. Ron has set this one. He's on. 
He's, he's not on. on. Seven. You got to turn him on or something. I, I, he's on seven. He's on. I don't know. He lost him. He hung up. He didn't hang up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's nice. Now I can't get him off. You got to get him off. All right. Andy, I am so All sorry. Right. I don't know what the, you know, All happened. Right. Please call us right back. We will put you right on. And Ron, you got to get him on. Something happened. I'll get him on. All right, let's uh, take hello. Uh, you know, have we done the right. show? He's out too. Something's happening with the board. Uh, Andy, All on right, let's second. get back to the show. Andy will call us back. We'll talk with him. Uh, speaking of Andy, you know there's an election coming up this Tuesday right, so to replace back. Cunningham. I mean Cummings. I'm sorry, Congressman Cummings, right? And uh, it's. Uh, what is her Kim name? Clasic. Kim Clasic. Great girl. Is a Republican yeah. candidate. And in Fume, Congressman Infume, he's been around forever, yeah. is the uh, candidate for the Democrats. And this is just to re fully replace Cummings and so occupy the seat until January. So it's an important election. Like it's kind of goofy. Like, mm -hmm. We've got this mail in election, right? And 75,000 people have already mailed in. Wow. Wow. Which for an off no, election that we know nothing show. about. It's, it's not in the newspapers. It's not on TV. Now, this is a tough district. Uh, Kim is getting a real battle. It's only about 20% Republican. Yeah, so right. yeah, right. he knows it. Again in November. Well, here's what happens. Uh, if, if Fumi wins, or let's say Kim wins, she will occupy the seat until January, which means you can raise a lot of money and go to Congress. Question, and Congress. The next election on June the second. Okay, so I got Andy might be the second or the sixth. I get confused. No, no, I got to put. I got your own screen. She has to run again Republican against her opponents in the Republican primary. primary, and at that point, she will become the nominee. She may be occupying the seat, and she may lose you got it. and not be the nominee. Somebody else may be the nominee. Which is weird. Yeah. 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 But let's say Infumi wins the seat. And then the Pastor Lewis and I write, he's on line number nine. If I don't do it, I'll get an exorcism again. That really hurt my neck. <laughs> so it, it's very strange. She, it's I really tell you what, she's a tough cookie. She she works hard. Yeah. And, I mean, if you see her on Instagram and everything, she is she is in the community. She's trying really yeah, hard. She goes after uh, rats. Yeah, you don't see, I, even Cummings wasn't down there enough oh, doing never, things. Never. Yeah, I mean, she's things. on it. One of yeah. the things I find interesting with uh, McFoon and running, because he was in Congress, and of course he gets a retirement from there. Be so what know. better deal I'll be real, I'll just be come back and be a congressman, even if you're not going to first of time, right. his retirement pay goes way up, this is because compared <laughs> to the what he got, his salary that he used to get from before. Right, right. So it's a good win for him. The last right? two, last two. Anyway, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back. We have Congressman Harris with us, and we have our good friend, uh, uh, Pastor David Lewis. But we need to take a break right now what to get this all straightened out on the board. So we'll be right back after this break. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I fish. I also clean Ron, the waterways so others can Right here, I have any over here. I have the ramps for easy access to the water. I provide fishing and water safety education for kids. I maintain a healthy fish population so tomorrow's anglers can enjoy a catch. I prevent unwanted species from spreading into waters where they don't belong. I restore the condition of rivers to help fish and wildlife thrive. I fund long-term plans to protect our lakes and streams. I do all of these oh, things and more, all because I buy a fishing license. Oh, fuck up. When you buy a fishing license, you do a lot. In fact, every dollar from a license purchase protects and maintains your local waterways for future generations to enjoy. To learn more about how you can get your fishing license, go to Take Me Fishing. There we go. That's And now more of the Pat McDonough Show on Talk Radio 680, WCBM, and worldwide at WCBM.com. Go. Go. She was my... Okay, we are back, and let's try for Andy again, all right? Now, do you want to put him on? Andy, are you with us? 
Yes, I am. Well, thank you for being tenacious. <laughs> uh, I apologize. Uh, nah. Something happened on the board. It happened sometimes. Thank you. Congressman, welcome. We appreciate when you come on with us. Uh, so, where are we with this uh, virus now? As the president, the president is always press, been don't, don't touch the buttons. The I'm controlling the buttons. So Not it. Pay any attention to them. I think he's doing a good job. Now I'm going to do that. Yeah, look, look, the, uh, the president's doing a great job on this. The bottom line is that he inherited a debt uh, with the federal government because uh, Joe Biden and Barack Obama weren't paying attention. Uh, you know, they had the SARS virus. They could, they could have uh, done what needed to be done and, you know, put things in the strategic stockpile. You know, New York State auctioned off their ventilators. I mean, you know, the Democrats don't know how to run any of this. Uh, the bottom line is, uh, you know, the, the president has... Uh, has done a great job, the president, and the proof is, is that when we started this, there were predictions there were going to be up to 2 million deaths. Now it looks like that's probably 20 times the number that we're going to, that we are actually going to have. And no one's giving the president. Yeah, the president have credit, it have it have speaking not having a million tonight. Americans uh, die from this, but actually having just, just uh, more, have more than you can get a regulator. regulator. Now, uh, <laughs> We're talking about a second wave on this thing coming in the fall and also during the flu season. What what are you hearing about? Um, we're now we're talking well, about small business and the impact of small business. Oh, could I say small business owner inquiry? You're coughing, you're sneezing, you don't go to church. And I'll get you on the air. You wear a mask if you go out and help us with the big There you go. I'm I'm on your corner about it. And I'll put small business. I don't think we're going to have a you big know, sports event anytime soon. Mm -hmm. But if we do Water. that, if we do what we've been there doing now, then we're not going to have Okay, just hold on there, Ron. In the fall. Right, thank will you. we have some cases? Yeah, we'll have some cases. But you know what New York has shown us is that if you are young and if you are so, healthy. So, WCBM is having fun. show, Ron. So, I'm speaking. Who's calling to you? It's, it's probably about the same year as having Jerry? Food. Now look, if you're older and you have, and you have uh, other okay, Jerry from Monty, I'm gonna get you. Uh, you know, oh, you you're right. probably gonna have to take it easy until we get either enough people with had it so that we. And what would you like to talk about? It has to be on the subject of small business and the the vast majority of Americans should be getting back to work. We should be reopening this economy. Pat, this Wednesday, I'm gonna start a. Uh, oh, I don't think it's going to do that right now. Just sure, he just wants something. Uh, we're going to go to business but, with the Eastern Shore of Maryland, which of course has not been uh, struck hard with, with, with this virus. Mm -hmm. like Washington mm -hmm. but we're going to well, let me, business hey, business hello? Business hello? Hello? It's time to you start there? Hello? The hello? Hello? Of hello? Let me, let me put I'm you, I'm going to put you on to Andy Harris. Uh, and uh, Mark Sullivan, who was the host of the great All right, let me put you on again. And we've been talking about this. And uh, they may have a question for you, but I want to ask you one quick question. We have been receiving a lot of emails and phone calls. And hey, make sure you about, put the radio uh, down. These check. Oh, thank you. Okay, I got you. Okay. I got you. Hold on, Jerry. We'll see how this business, works. I believe. And uh, a lot of people have not received their checks. Is, is there a <laughs> hold up on that for some reason? So about 80 million of them have gone out, and they've gone out to people. So uh, again, most people won't receive a check. They will just get a direct deposit. In oh, I see. Okay. So if they have filed their taxes and, and they and they asked for their refund last All year right. uh, to go and directly to the bank, the the bank then the federal government will just send this check directly to the bank account. Mm -hmm. If you don't right. have a bank account on file with the IRS. And also, Social Security is the same way. If you get your Social Security check direct deposit, you're going to get this money direct deposited. Uh, but if you don't get it, and you don't have direct deposit set up with the government, then it's just going to take another week or two for these checks to go out, a physical check to go out. Okay. Now, uh, Mark or Joe, do you have a question? for Well, I, I was wondering, uh, when do you think would be good for Ocean City to open up? Would you think maybe in the next couple of weeks? I know. But look, I think I think Ocean City can open up. Look, you're not going to want to pack 300,000 people into Ocean City right. anytime soon. But there is no reason. I think there's no reason. I, we, we, look, we look. We follow the Worcester County data pretty pretty closely. We're following the data from the entire Eastern Shore. And uh, you know, for instance, and, and I will tell you, remember, the whole purpose of closing down was to preserve. Uh, our health care system so that there's adequate capacity in our health care system. Now, the largest hospital on the Eastern Shore, which is Peninsula Regional Medical Center, I just saw their report. Uh, they have uh, 50 COVID patients in the hospital. They have 
almost 200 empty beds uh, available. They have 100 ventilators, only six patients are on a ventilator, six COVID patients are on a ventilator. So the bottom line is we are nowhere near stressing the capacity of our healthcare system. So if we're nowhere near stressing the capacity, why are we closed down? So I think in Ocean City, what you can do is you can say, look, restaurants can open. Some of them are large enough where you can table six feet apart. Right. You know, the, the waiters wear a mask. Uh, the people who come in will wear a mask. Obviously, if they want to sit at their table, they, they, they should wear a mask when, the, when their server comes. They want to take their masks off after that. That's their business uh, because they're sitting with people they know, family members. Uh, but the bottom line is that we can, and those, you know, the stores are now, we need the off season. Stores are not going to be packed. You wear a mask. You maintain social distance. Uh, places like Berlin, there, there's no reason these, these kind of places, these, these smaller stores, these restaurants that can maintain social distancing, there's no reason why they, they shouldn't be open on the shore. And and again, we're going to track the use of the healthcare system. If it begins to, to uh, trend upward again, then you can rein it back in. Right. But this right. idea that we're going to stay closed in month crazy. Now, do, do you think do you think this could disappear uh, over the summer months? Well, I, I personally think it will. I think it will get much better uh, over the summer months. There is an indication that uh, heat and higher humidity uh, does, and of course, ultraviolet light as well. Ultraviolet light outside in the summer, but uh, that that it, it will suppress it in the summer. Now we'll see it again in the fall, just like we're going to see the flu again in the fall. And, you know, we lose in this country between 37,000 and uh, 60,000 people a year to the flu. And we don't shut down our economy. And it's the same situation. If you're young and healthy and you get the flu, it's like a bad cold. If you're older and you have lung disease and heart disease, it can be fatal. Uh, but, again, it's this idea that we have to completely shut down our economy. We've already proven that all the predictions were wrong. Andy, I'm going to just ask you one final question because sure. we have to take a break. Uh, you just mentioned uh, to Mark that it is probably going to come back in the fall. The question is, uh, will it be as strong? Of course, we know we will be more prepared, but will, will, will it be as strong? Look, we'll absolutely be more prepared. We're going we're gonna to have, by the fall, for instance, we will know which the drugs that we call the anti antivirals. So we're going to know which of those No, you see, being the panic we're going to know because we're still understanding when you no. get the bad lung disease exactly how you should be treated. For instance, in the beginning, they thought everybody needed a ventilator. This is probably not true. And we're like, it's got to be on the subject of small business on a ventilator. Uh, well, that's your own much right better there. for them. Uh, so we're going to okay. learn a lot about all the lung disease. We're learning a lot now. But so what we did prove is that we not only flattened the curve, we lowered the curve. These predictions of one to two million deaths, when all is said and done, this way, we may have 100,000 deaths. I'm not even sure we're going to have that many, but it's one-tenth to one-twentieth of what the two minutes was. All right, Andy, so uh, how about the strength? What will be the strength of the virus be? Do we have any idea? Well, we don't know because viruses and, 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 and. occasionally they mutate to become more dangerous, but most frequently they mutate to become less dangerous. So we don't know uh, what's going to happen in the fall. But again, what, what we've proven, and again, this is proven, we've proven that this is not as bad as everybody predicted it was going to be. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Andy Harris, our congressman. We have to take a break. Uh, we will be right back after the break. <laughs> Please listen, this is important. Anyone can be affected by the prescription opioid crisis. If you think you've been hurt by Purdue or its prescription opioids, oh, you may be entitled to compensation as part of Purdue's bankruptcy, but you have to file a claim. Claims may include overdose, death, substance use disorder, lost wages, and nearly an abstinence syndrome. Confidential claim can be filed by individuals, a legal guardian, by survivors, or relatives of people who have died or are disabled. The deadline to file a claim is June 30th, 2020, or you will lose your right to file a claim. For more information, visit PurduePharmaClaims.com, or you can call toll-free 1-844-217-0912. That's 1-844-217-0912. Paid for by my clerk, 
LLC. Are you always apologizing for your dog's behavior? Need help communicating? At K9 Concepts, we can solve your problems. The answer to your problems is a phone call away. Call 410-477-2000 for a free demo evaluation. Call 410-477-2000. Obedience, protection, handicap assistance, boarding, grooming, puppy preschool. Visit K9Concepts.com. The best for your dog. Call 410-477-2000. Are you facing tax problems? No matter how long it's been since you last filed, if you have faced unemployment, loss of a family member, divorce, or illness, and feel you can't afford to fix your tax problems, contact Advantage Tax Service, the tax killer. With the Tax Killer Rescue Plan, you have options you'll find nowhere else. Since 1989, Rose Harbaugh, former IRS employee, has helped many Marylanders and others outside the state resolve their problems. Advantage Tax Service has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and works overtime to assist the taxpayer to avoid additional penalty and interest. They are here all year, preparing each return as if it were their own. And Rose Harbaugh, owner of Advantage Tax Service, met and was interviewed by Tom Marr when he did her ads. So give Rose Harbaugh, former IRS employee, a call at 410-869-TAXX, 410-869-8299, or online at taxkiller.com. That's taxkiller.com. Allow me to offer some sound advice. More than 35 million men, women, and children have hearing loss, and the number is growing. You need to begin your journey toward healthy hearing now I'm back. by calling Clarity and Comfort Hearing Center at 410-256-1006. The center is located in Perry Hall. Begin your journey to healthy hearing by calling Clarity and Comfort Hearing Center at 410-256-1006. This message is sound. There he is. Kathy said it. Yes. And also, <laughs> All right, listen to this. If you're a business owner, small business owner, and you're just doing carry outs and you need vegetables, you need them quick, you need them right now, and then go to Benny Sedano. Benny Sedano, right here. What are they doing? Call 410 799 7833. Let us serve you. Benny Sedano, 410 799 7833. Give him a call. Tell him Ron Savage sent you to get an extra carrot or something. I know it. I know it. Please listen. This is a recording. Anyone can be affected by the prescription opioid crisis. If you think you're going to hurt by Purdue or its prescription opioids like Oxycontin, you may be entitled to compensation as part of Purdue's bankruptcy, but you have to file a claim related to an overdose, death, substance use disorder, false wages, and neonatal abstinence syndrome. You should be okay. And Number nine is okay. can be filed by individuals and legal guardian. Our survivors or relatives of people who died or are disabled. The deadline to file a claim is June 30th, 2020, or you will lose your right to file a claim. For more information, visit PurduePharmaClaims.com or you can call toll free 1 844 217 That's 1 844 217 Paid for by Prime Clerk. LLC. Are you facing tax problems? No matter how long it's been since you last filed, if you have faced unemployment, loss of a family member, divorce or illness, and feel you can't afford to fix your tax problems, contact Advantage Tax Service, the tax killer. Do -do 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 -do. With the tax killer rescue plan, you have options you'll find nowhere else. Since 1989, Rose Harbaugh, former IRS employee, has helped many Marylanders and others outside the state resolve their problems. Advantage Tax Service has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and works overtime to assist the taxpayer to avoid additional penalty and interest. They are here all year, preparing each return as if it were their own. And Rose Harbaugh, owner of Advantage Tax Service, met and was interviewed by Tom Marr when he did her ads. So give Rose Harbaugh, former IRS employee, a call at 410-869-TAXX, 410-869-8299 or online at taxkiller.com. Here we go, baby. That's taxkiller.com. 
And now more of the Pat McDonough Show on Talk Radio 680 WCBM and worldwide at WCBM.com. Okay, we, we are back. We have a lot of callers. We have our favorite pastor we're going to right now. We have our guests in studio, Dr. Jerry Bodler, Mark Sullivan, the owner of the River Watch, and <clears throat> Valerie McDonough, and of me. I forgot my name. But anyway, uh, let us go to our pastor, David Lewis. David Lewis, thank you for holding and waiting. Yes, sir. How are we all doing tonight? Oh, we're having fun. We're yeah. doing good, oh. Pastor. It sounds like it. How's my good friend Joe doing? Is he, is he behaving over there? Doing a good job. Yes. Yeah, I am. I am. The drugs are working fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, real quick, Joe, you brought up a good point regarding uh, his boomerang and his, his pension increase that he, that he may be looking at. You know, we don't send him down there to get rich. We send him down there to represent us, which I'm afraid not all of them do. I'm not here to talk about that. I want to talk about church. I was excited to hear you mention earlier, Pat, about stage one with the religious limited attendance. We need to get back to church. We need to get people in there and fill up those pews. We need to pack the churches. We need to pray for God's mercy and blessings on our nation. It's time to get to work. Well, now you have been doing your church services virtual, right? Yes. Every Sunday morning at 11 on Facebook Live and later today on YouTube. And uh, the pastor is also our special pastor on uh, Super Citizen USA uh, Television on Prime Time on Sinclair Broadcasting. Our next show, by the way, Pastor, probably going to be in two weeks. Okay, I look forward to that. Yeah, so uh, but, uh, what is your message yeah. this evening? My message this evening is what I'm going to be talking about tomorrow on Facebook Live, Resurrecting Hope. You know, two weeks ago, we celebrated the greatest event in human history. And I'm going to talk about why that one event gives us hope in the midst of crisis, chaos, and yes, even coronavirus, because it has internal ramifications. Please tune in. You don't want to miss that. Okay. David Lewis, Pastor David Lewis, our favorite pastor. Thank you for calling in tonight, and we will catch you next week. Thank you, sir. God bless all of us. Okay, God bless you, too. All right, now, uh, let us take a call, okay? We'll take our call tonight. We'll start off with Jeff, see if he's still on there. Good, Jeff. Jeff, good evening. Good evening, Pat. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. What, what I got, Pat, about three minutes? At the most, yes. Okay, all right. Uh, I want to talk about unemployment and then the, uh, respond to David in San Francisco. The unemployment... You probably don't remember, I called you three weeks ago. I was the last caller that said, Who, who's in charge of getting more people Two minutes to start having phones? The governor? And you said, I think it is. Yes, it is. I said, I said can you get a message to him? Uh, I was telling people about this like a month and a half ago. They need to go ahead and start preparing. You know, they just now are getting Ooh. around to that. Yes. This, this is like department stores and UPS hiring a bunch of Christmas help for December. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. And, we, and we made that point with you at the time. And we've made it on subsequent shows, and the governor monitors this show closely. I'm telling very, you that. Very good. And he, and he finally responded, and he's, he's done Bella. a little bit of work. Bella's here. Right. Yeah. David San Francisco is a big liberal. He calls this station. I always call him David. He goes around and he says, Oh, Kim Dobie. Kim Dobie. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm Joe Chira, Fox News. Georgia, one of the states beginning to reopen Ooh. businesses, but it's also being criticized for that decision. A lot of non-essential businesses, businesses that were Crazy as hell. Ago, hair salons, barbershops, <laughs> as you see, alleys, gyms, even when people press the wrong buttons, I take care of it. Number of confirmed coronavirus cases, boom. as his reasoning. Also, the hint that the economy has been here, that move has earned tremendous criticism, even here in Georgia, by the CDC, as well as by the mayor of Atlanta and by President Trump, who said Georgia is simply moving too fast. Well, let me see. I tell you, I told you about Benny Sedano. You got to call him up. He's a good guy. Do that. Or die. <laughs> also, listen. Uh, you're looking for T-shirts. I want you to go to Blue Fish Apparel. All right. Blue Fish Apparel on Facebook. Visit my buddy, Steve Blueford, who's also a longshoreman. in Louisville, 333. Yeah. Forget about it. Then. He's getting a hold on. Blue Fish Apparel, all right, on Facebook. Uh, visit or call Steve Blueford at 443-278-4858. Shut up. Um, uh, Steve Blueford, 443-278-4853. And uh, get a T-shirt, get a scoozy, get everything. Get Take a picture of your mom, your dog, anything. Put on a T-shirt or a scoozy. He's a nice man. He doesn't yell too much. He's great. And tell me you know me. You might get a, a, a nice, nice thing. Oh, I got to answer. <laughs> WCBM, the time of Donna Show. Rock Savage, speaking in. Long tonight, please. Hold on, Rock Domestic. And, and you must talk about what's on the sidelines is the uh, coronavirus or small businesses and their capital. Oh, uh, that's not going to happen. I can't get you one. It's a very confusing and stressful time right now. Well, if you want to bring a small business and springboard off of that, if you can bring it in, I can get you one. Talk about small businesses or the virus, and then spring one on today, and I can keep you in line. All right, I'm gonna put you on. I'm gonna put you on as the virus. Okay, you can call that pad. Okay. All right, so I'll keep you on my friend. Hold on. Now. Oh, yeah. See, don't to talk to me, not them. Oh, hold on, Vegas is here, and that's how you make uh, the apple turnover pie. Oh, hi, we're not talking about nothing wrong, we're just talking. Um, I wasn't one time. This one right there, see it, the button. He has buttons, he's the button. I, I touched the right button. I said, yeah, three presses the wrong button. We're going to have, don't listen to any. Vegas is now cut off. Boop, boop. Las Vegas is cut off. Boop. Vegas is cut off. <laughs> what else? What else? I got to say something, you know. Christ Jesus in heaven. All right, listen. Uh, you have a party. Some of you guys, you know, they, they drank a little bit too much of the, of the whiskey and uh and I can pull, pull it over. Look, oh my God! Look at you! Dude. Don't worry about it, because you're gonna call Vince's Tile Works. See, Vince Palmer, another local longshoreman, brother, local three three three. Woo! And he's gonna go ahead and do that for you, even if your friends knock over the toilet during a wild party. He's the owner and the operator. So go to Facebook. See, he's working. He's terrific. I'm telling you, go and see Vince's Tile Works on Facebook. He has pictures of him in the bathroom. I mean, in the right way. You know what I mean? He's, he's gonna show his work. So there. <laughs> All right, that's that. I'm not doing a song now. No, no, not yet. No. <laughs> Go fly me to the moon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Today they commemorate the end of Nazi occupation, the end of fascism. Today the coronavirus star in Italy said that under current circumstances. You want to get in touch with Pat and his email? Here's Pat's email right here. Look at this. <laughs> Pat McDee, that's D E E at Comcast.net. Pat McDonough and Maryland. Okay, so go. There he is. Look, Pat McDonough, go give him an email, say nice things, ask him a question or two. And that's that. Oh, hold on, we got to get back on the air.
Okay. There you go. Weather to finish out the weekend, courtesy of Big fan now, big fan. Betsy baby. And Betsy too. <laughs> oh yeah, what else we got? Oh listen, super citizen, you gotta go to here, okay? Listen. Become a super citizen. Go to supercitizen.com or dot 410-238-0025. Join it. Join a good cause, man. It's a great cause. All right. Supercitizenusa.com 410-238-0025. That's 410-238-0025. Join us. There we go. Also, listen to this on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock. Super citizen. You can see the action. Now you can, you know, here we have the you talk on the streets oh i know pat mcdonald's great he's great he's great but you're getting the sizzle not the steak all right what you want to do is go with sunday mornings the super citizen with pat mcdonald on my tv on cam K comcast that's channel 24 and uh on verizon it's channel 46. so as you're eating your eggs and scrapple and stuff go ahead hey let's go check out the pat mcdonald on super citizen that's what you want sunday mornings at 10 o'clock super citizen with pat mcdonald on my tv on comcast channel 24 and on Verizon, it's channel 46. Do that. If you don't just square, while you're eating your scrap of eggs, go watch Pat McDonough. Sh Sunday mornings, 10 o'clock. Okay, Super Citizen, Pat McDonough, my TV, Comcast, channel 24, and Verizon, channel 46. Be there, be square. Oh, look. <clears throat> yeah, I got some time. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't deal with the computer because I, I watch Get Smart and I think I'm going to be putting the kind of silence and die. Well, you don't have a computer? Well, look, we got the snail mail. Pat's email is right here. Pat McDonough, P.O. Box 15470, Baltimore, Maryland, 21220. What did he say? All right, ladies, sit down. Stop taking your Ben Gay out. Listen. Woohoo. Pat, Pat's email is Pat McDonough, P.O. Box one five four seven zero Baltimore Maryland two one two two zero. Call him up, and that's it. I mean, I mean, write him on the license letter. You wrote me a letter. I just wrote play us over every letter. Do that. Do that. The Pat McDonough Show is brought to you by Valley for America. Now more of the Pat McDonough Show on Talk Radio 680 WCBM and worldwide at WCBM.com. All right, welcome back, everybody, for the second hour of the Super Citizen Radio Show with Pat McDonough, Valerie McDonough, and our special guest tonight, Delegate Joe Vogler, and business owner Mark Sullivan from the River Watch Restaurant and Marina. I'm going to read a uh, little post uh, from our good friend, uh, Ambassador Ellen Sauerbray, and then Valerie has a question. Uh, Governor Hogan, many small businesses will go under permanently if you do not open them in the next week or two. This was out just this week. In normal times, small businesses struggle to compete with the big box stores, giving the big retailers the opportunity to stay in business and capture more market share while forcing small businesses that are the heart of the economy to be closed and their employees laid off has been patently unfair. If the big guys can be open with social distancing and other measures to protect their workers, many small retailers could do the same. I would feel much safer donning a mask and going to my local hardware store than standing in line waiting to get into Walmart. I urge you to allow small retailers to reopen safely by requiring their patrons and employees to wear a mask and take the right steps with social distancing. That makes a lot of sense. It does. It really does. You know, Pat, one of the, uh, one of the things that, uh, as a state delegate over the last probably 20 years, that, uh, you know, we fought very hard to maintain these little small business communities that are, that are at the heart of, like, Catonsville, uh, Parkville. You know, um, a lot of these areas where you've got a lot of small businesses there, and they're falling by the wayside, and, you know, even before this. And now that we, we, we've gone into this and shut these guys down, um, I doubt that you're going to have empty store front areas in a lot of these small communities because they're not going to come back. Well, one of the questions that I, I would love to know the answer to 
you know, Governor Hogan owns a lot of commercial properties, and I'm sure he has a lot of tenants. Now, is he going to say to his tenants, hey, I know you have been shut down. I know that you haven't been making any money. I'm going to give you all free bread. Do you think Governor Hogan's going to go for that? That's a good question. You know, if I was a reporter at one of the press conferences, news conferences, I would say, Governor, you're a big business guy. You're a commercial business guy. You own a lot of commercial properties around the state, and you have tenants. And, uh, and I, you know, right. I believe he also owns uh, apartment. He does. Yes, yes. he does. You're so right. is he going right. to, you know, cut the, you know, the Are you going to cut your the rents? And you know what he would say? Well, I have no reason to know why we are doing that, or if we are doing it. I don't have the authority to do it because it's in a trust fund, and it would be up to my brother, who's in charge right. of the trust right. fund. Well, then I'll ask his brother. <laughs> you know, you can this. I mean, all these people are suffering. Your brother's closing down the state. Let's get it done. Well, you know, you could ask the governor, can you ask your brother and give us some information and get back to us? Well, I think with the payroll protection program, I think 10 weeks, so it's 10 weeks, I guess, all the rent can be paid by. Um, but, Mark, you have other bills. Yeah, right, right. But the money would have to go to whoever you're paying rent to. All right, let's you take know. another call. Oh, we're going to get some calls in here. I'm going to talk to Ron, who is in uh, go ahead, Ron. Hamilton. Go right. Ron, good evening. Yes, sir. I've been listening to the program and uh, talking about young people and closing down. You know, uh, I see a hidden cost here. It's too much. Uh, with these but young you were the ones touching them. I've been smoking or my... vaping, and they don't have developed brains. Adults oh, have the oh, what does this button do? Oh, I don't know. You already had respiratory and lungs. I didn't mean out. That's just, that's plastic. It's all plastic. I bought it at, uh, at the Holy now, Store. It, it, uh, you, you cut the uh, uh, bride's cake with, or whatever. Okay, uh, Kim W. I checked out his page. He has a lot of choices. I got many choices. They call me the Toy Small Stack. Listen to the show because I can holler that. Please. Don't listen to Vegas. Don't listen to Vegas. And you know, young at age like that. I mean, so yeah, uh, please pass you know, me the count, there, please. CO3 Little teeny glass of count, please. Right. But you know, <laughs> when you get that at 25 or 21, and then we, of course we have to take care <laughs> of, have to pay for all of that. I'm all right now, you mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't even know why we have it. <laughs> well, hey, we have it. Originally started to get <laughs> things <laughs> That was the idea. Right. That, that was the idea. idea behind it, and then it developed. Into the, um, just a substitute, I guess, for smoking right. and, work. and recreational. Yeah. Kind of use. Right. yeah, go ahead, Ron. Ron, I, I, I want to point out <clears throat> that there was a study some months back. In fact, in 2018, they reported that over 25% of mid and high school students were baby, were using yeah. Yeah. Now, Don't these students become basically the teachers for the next generation? That's how I got smoking. The older kids were smoking, so yeah. I smoked. It's, when I was uh, smoking, it was three packs of camels, real camels, not yeah. sugar camels a day. No, no real camels, hair and all. Well, God bless you. you know, I'm glad you're ever. Worse than that God bless because you. Uh, a lot of Thank these sort of flavored type you're welcome. Um, uh, uh, things that they're coming out with uh, have a lot of chemicals, and a lot more than even right. you know, with nicotine and, 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 and other stuff. There's a lot more smoke on you. That's it, right. yeah. But here's the sad thing, Joe. Uh, we were getting a hold to some extent on the smoking problem that was going down all the generations, including the younger generations. And then the vaping came along, and all of a sudden there's a new opportunity to go do something stupid. Now, I, I've told this story before in the show, but when I was about 10 years old, I took one of my older brother's cigarette packs, oh. snitched it, snatched it, whatever it was, he snitched it. took it out to the movies, and went up the alley and smoked cigarettes. Let's we'll see how it was. I got sick as a dog. So I came home, and my mother, this woman who's supposed to love me, right? She said, what, what's wrong with you? You don't look wrong. I said, well, I took one of Max cigarettes, and I'm smoking it. She said, oh, you like to smoke. Okay, let's smoke enough. <laughs> I thought, how can this woman be so vicious, right. so cool? To make me smoke another cigarette and throw it. Another piece. I'll tell you something. To this day, I love her. I love her. She's my mother. But I never smoked another cigarette. You know, I had a very similar story uh, myself. And my I mother made you smoke a cigarette? Yeah. <laughs> a, a, a friend of mine, we built this log cabin. And we lined it with cardboard, figuring that 
you know, we could sit in there and smoke and nobody would know. Well, right. the smoke's pouring out the side of it. His mother calls the fire department <laughs> and they show up. You know? And I got home and by the time I got home, my mother knew about it and she made me eat a pack of cigarettes. Oh my uh, God. I had to eat it. I never smoked after that. Your <laughs> mother's worse than my yeah. mother. <laughs> she didn't make she me is. eat. <laughs> I had to eat them. Oh, yeah. it's disgusting. <laughs> So, so you words, chewed after that? Did you oh, chew later? Well, <laughs> what my mother made me do was coming out one end, what your mother made you do was coming out the other end. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to go too deeply into that. All right, we had someone calling uh, Jerry, who uh, actually, when they ask Andy a question, I don't know if he's still there or not, but we'll see. Jerry. Uh, good evening, Jerry. Hey, Pat, Gary. Uh, Hi, Gary. I'm sorry, Ron put Jerry up there, so I only go by what Ron tells me. Hi, Gary. How are you? <laughs> Let me go ahead. I had a, I'm glad you have this guy, Pat Lewis. He's a great guy, man. I've met him a few times. He came and visited me while I was in the hospital. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, he's wonderful, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. I, great I, guy. I've been wanting to get back to great guy. Great the guy. This lockdown thing, that's not happening. But anyhow, I called Andy Harrison office with a question. I don't know if you can help me out with this or not. I'm flipping around on the TV the other day. I'm trying to find uh, uh, the president's, uh, you know, press conference, daily press conference he gives every day for this, this whole thing. It's about the only kind of time I ever watch. I don't watch any other news. I watch President Trump. That's it. I don't want to watch anything else. Can you explain to me why a publicly funded radio station and a television station doesn't carry the president's coronavirus top, daily news topics in their publicly funded. I don't get I don't get that. Well, that's just a policy decision by CNN and MSNBC to fake news operations that hate the uh, president. Of course, he is on I'm the... talking about public television. Oh, you know, he's on there. He's on there every time he's on. I, I, you know what? I've turned it on. He's not on there. Well, he comes on at different times, too. Sometimes he's like at 5, sometimes he's at 7. Well, Fox usually puts him on in the afternoon around 5 o'clock. So when it, then he comes on a little bit later, too. He did, I, I've, I've checked public television several times. No, I, I've watched him several times. Well, I, I, I don't know. I'm missing the again because I've tried to... Turn into public, which I'm not a big fan of anything. No, no, I wish we could get rid of public television. It doesn't even serve a purpose now. Yeah, they don't they need for it. Doesn't the government give all the money? Yeah. Oh, they go Sesame all, Street. But, oh, they a lot of but we give them a big budget out of our tax dollars, and every show they have on there is a liberal show. One thousand. Their big one news thousand. hour. I one thousand. Her name. It's the uh, anchor, uh, and the two reporters that report on the president. I mean, they're both with Trump bashers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I thought Ronald Reagan would get rid of him. Nice talking, John. Gary, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, buddy. Take care. Two minutes. Well, we're going to take a break right now, and uh, we'll come back with some more. And Mark, we're going to talk to you. Uh, you know a lot sure. of people in the business community. You're active in the business associations, and maybe you can share with us some of their thoughts. What's yeah, going on? Certainly. We'll be right back. <laughs> During the coronavirus crisis, listen Sundays at 7 p.m. for a broadcast of the Sunday Morning Mass at the Cathedral of Mary our Queen with celebrant and homilist Archbishop William E. Laurie. The Mass airs immediately after Catholic Baltimore at 6.30 p.m. Are you facing tax problems? No matter how long it's been since you last filed, if you have well, we been the 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 Ron Harris speaking call tonight. Divorce or illness and feel you can't afford to fix your tax problems, contact Advantage Tax Service yes, you can, Tax Mark. Killer. With the Tax Killer Rescue Plan, you have options. Uh, the subject that people talk about is the, the uh, severity of the consequences of small business and the Resolve their problems. Advantage Tax Service has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and works overtime to assist the taxpayer to avoid additional penalty and interest. They are here. You got it, Mark. I'll put you on hold. Hearing each return as if it were their own. And Rose Harbaugh, owner of Advantage Tax Service, met and was interviewed by Tom Barr when he did her ads. So give Rose Harbaugh, former IRS employee, a call at 410-869-TAXX. 
410-869-8299 or online at... Uh, WCBM, the Pat McDonough Show, Ron Sarah, speaking who's calling tonight, huh? Your vehicle needs help. Jeff's automotive service. All right, it's Ron Sarah, call please, John. Let's push in the magic computer. John, from White, John, White, you got it. Jeff services all vehicles, including cars, SUVs, trucks, uh, one and second. White uh, There are all the specials available at Jeff's one one one. Okay, and yes, what's your subject matter, please? It's got to be concerning the virus or small businesses. Uh, how are you being suffering? How are you suffering? How are you suffering? Jeff's is the winner of the Best Automotive Service Award for 2019. All right, yeah, it has to be about the businesses or the virus. Jeff's offers 10% okay. discounts. I'll, I'll, the virus in the money. The virus, okay. I would like to thank our military members for their service. Jeff's Automotive Services has a name you can trust. You got it. All right, John. Hold on. We'll get you right on. My pleasure, sir. Hold on. Can I write something? I just stabbed myself. Listen every Sunday from 6 to 6 Shut up. Jeff starts your day with the first look at real news and informed opinion, traffic, and weather on the trees, local sports, and the issues that matter to you most. Join the morning drive with Casey and weekdays from 6 to 9 a.m. on Talk Radio 6 a.m. Oh, Dark right. or CDM. This is Sunday to 9 a.m. for Radio Mass of Baltimore. Okay, everybody. The live liturgy of the Sunday Mass from St. Ignatius Church in downtown Baltimore. And again at 6 p.m. for a rebroadcast. Following the Mass, stay tuned for a message from the Archdiocese of Baltimore on Talk Radio 680 WCBM. <laughs> And now more of the Pat McDonough Show on Talk Radio 680 WCBM and worldwide at WCBM.com. Welcome back, everybody. Super Citizen Radio, Global. .com. Uh, Valerie McDonough here tonight along with Joe Bodler and Mark Sullivan from the business community. Uh, I want to remind you all, and please listen to this. If you have a complaint or a concern regarding nursing home services during this uh COVID crisis, uh, you need to call me. There is a group of folks that are getting together to take a look at uh, Rick performance and the things that happen in the nursing homes. You know, it's been terrible. A lot of people, Rick people that have died and all over the country, actually. But in Maryland, we've had a serious problem. Two of the largest, I think it was Future <laughs> Care and Lock Hearn. I'm not sure. The two largest big across the country. So if you have a family member or you want to know more about what is happening there, I'm going to give you my office number and I want you to call me and we'll talk. It's 410-238-0025, 410-238-0025. And I will caution you that the people who have loved ones or had loved ones in the nursing homes and people who are concerned, you need to be prepared because some things may be coming in the future that are not beneficial so that may be uh something we don't want to see happen so you need to call me about that but mark you have a lot of friends in the business community and i know you're a member of the associations and that sort was of that thing. on time that's because i'm and good you're hearing from some that's of your, your folks um I, I, Bam, right right right. Right. I mean probably one of my favorite pizza joints at pizza john's um they haven't slowed down at all it seems like i'm sure they're not doing as well as no. they usually would but they are still doing a heck of a lot of carry out well, i was in there know, two weeks ago yeah. and they had a look like a full staff in there right right and uh well, it's like a machine yeah yeah and um, i was a little concerned because nobody was wearing masks but they weren't required then right you right. know so, uh, so they now, are now they are now yeah. and uh, they are uh they were very busy yeah I think I think a lot of places are doing okay because they're doing carry out and they're doing very well with it. There's other places that are doing okay, um, but there's other places that just probably wouldn't make any money doing carry out at this time. Yeah. Um, and other businesses too. Not only the, yeah. your, your yeah, it's just not the restaurant right, business. Right, right, right. You know? yeah. Do you know Gary at the Silver Mining Company? I know him very well. Yes. Yeah. Very very well. He closed down. He had three. Right. He closed them all yes, down. Yes, he did. He told me uh, in a conversation I had with him that 
you know, it's just not enough money to stay open. To keep right. everybody yeah. employed yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not only that, by the time yeah, you're, yeah, you're, the you're, silver mining company went out of business. I've been a couple of times, you know, but a restaurant all a those bar. big places that you it's could you sure. could take uh, Melissa Cooper to, you take a Melissa Cooper to out, you know. But no, no, they closed down. Sorry, Melissa, we'll have to find somewhere else. Oh, Melissa Cooper, sir. It's gave them a couple of weeks to shut down. Now it's got to shut down immediately. Oh, blew the wrong end. I just blew my whole face off. Sit <laughs> uh, so it! You know, he, you know, he had to get, just get rid of a lot of stuff. Right. And right. and some of it he had in the freezer. But even there, I mean, how long is it going to stay in the freezer? Exactly. Oh, my know, God! How long are you going to be closed? And then when you go to open up again, that's going to be a big capital outlay. That's what uh, I worry about that a little bit, too. I mean... How many of my employees are coming back? From what I know, most of them are coming back. But we always have to load up anyway. Uh, spring, summertime. Because I know he told me when they closed, I think it was on a Friday, they told you to close. Right. And he said that Monday, here comes a shipment that he, he's yeah. already paid for. <laughs> right. Never thought about that. that. Yeah. 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 Cisco's so, uh, there, there's a lot to that. And, and I think going back to uh, what Pat had yeah. mentioned about what Ellen had talked about, yeah, there are a lot of these small stores you know they could open up um you know they sell you know everything you see in a box store and there are stores that have that and that would be a great help to the economy because they can do the social distancing and it'd be relatively right. easy i don't see a big difference between going to home depot and opening all these small businesses and just you know doing what you do in home depot to yeah, so stay away from that's a good a comparison bit, you know right. let's take another call and then we come back we're going to talk with you joe about some of the stuff that might be coming up in Annapolis. Some earth shaking stuff could be coming. And some stuff that already happened uh, while you were there and you were shut down early. Yes. Uh, which was quite amazing, too. Uh, we had Robin Grammer on last week talking about that. But let's talk with the, the John who's been waiting. We had a lot of callers. Go on, John. John, good evening. Hi there, Pat. I'm Valerie and the rest of your guests. Um, I'm uh, kind of dismayed that. The, uh, the no one actually has come out with a chart that shows what they started out with and wound up with the 2.2 trillion. In other words, put the Republicans on the right hand side, Democrats on the left, the money that they started out with to pay the people um, and, and to help this recovery. And then show the pork of each side down the bottom and come down the bottom to the 2.2 trillion dollars. Do you know why that's not being shown in this uh, age of transparency by anybody? I'm not, maybe I'm not following you, right? Yeah. Are you talking about an audit that tells where the money comes from? Or, I mean, they already tell you where it's going. They told you already right. where it's going. I mean, it has been broken down into the CARE Act. It says specifically what percentage uh. is going to small business what percentage and there is a big complaint right there about right. more going to the big businesses in fact some of that money has been withdrawn i think it was 10 million from chipotle or something that was one of those businesses that right. they brought the money back said you had to give, give it back uh, right. and then there are the monies that go to the individuals that's part of the care right. right so is that what you mean john oh uh, not exactly what i'm talking about is a list underneath the democrats all the pork that they wanted. In, oh, in, thank in, you. Gotcha. Their oh. sold beef and beer dumplings were great. You know, Others, oh, their soul. Yeah, and, and, and the, and the their sour beefling. Sour beefling. <laughs> Give me some more Keontae. Yeah. Yeah. Your soul beef. Because they got the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she don't know. She's yeah. in, she's in yeah. Vegas. She don't know nothing. But anyway, um. Oh, Melissa says, I know I supply air to the restaurants and bar. I hope. I open up Maryland. Have a good night, Ron. Melissa, you have a good night too, Touch. Um, okay. Thank you very much. Stay safe. And don't go to Vegas. Do not go to Vegas. Don't listen to Vegas. There now. Now I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Oh, is that joke? And I'm talking about juice. Here, let's take a look what the house owner. You know, annually, it's in their retirement because they get full full pay retirement. Well, let me ask you to do this, John. Um, please send it to our email. Can you send it to our email? Sure. That's let me give you the on. email, and the folks out yeah. there will get it too. So, if you want to send us something, it's Pat P A T. Right. <laughs> C D as in David. 
E-E, two E's, Pat McPhee, at Comcast.net. I, I already have it because maybe you won't remember me, but we met. Pat McPhee at the Comcast. And that's his email he's talking about just now. There it is. So look. And we once met at the Commodore when you had a car problem. Oh, yeah. How are you doing, John? Fine. I'm the guy with the 92-year-old World War II veteran uh, brother. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for calling. We do appreciate that. Yeah, and you met Valerie, too, I think. Yes, uh, at the movies. We were getting popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. I think she did have a piece or two there. I, I met Valerie when everything water-wise went dead in my neighborhood for days. Oh, it Oliver Beach. Night. Yeah. That was Oliver Beach. Yeah, I was there all day straightening that out with the people from Baltimore City Water Works. You got results, too. That's right. That's Valerie. I don't, I don't play with them. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe, maybe we should elect her. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Valerie does a lot of volunteer work. I can tell nobody knows about it, but she does it. And what's troubling is that she's successful. <laughs> she gets it done. Yes. <laughs> she's the, like, the energy. Woo! The energy. Energ Woo! Funny. With, with a bad attitude. And, uh, <laughs> tell them, Valerie, it's women power. Right. To hear a woman. <laughs> she's not commenting. First time she's speechless. It's only funny. Let's take another call. Uh, <laughs> she wants to talk about the virus. Tom, go ahead. You're on. Yeah, uh, I know the final call is today, so I wanted to get right to the point. And okay. I want to say that somebody that I'm really tired of hearing from is uh, Governor Cuomo, someone in Texas recently about. Uh, people going back to work and he said you want to go back to work get a job as an essential worker uh perhaps the governor doesn't know that in the in the long term taxpayers are essential workers and um this is also the same governor he has this dispute now with mitch mcconnell about uh about the idea that states may have to go bankrupt and i, I saw a headline today that where he, he says um you son of a mitch and uh they said, we all know what he's really alluding to is they don't just want more. These, this state, some other states don't just want emergency money for a budget filled, uh, a budget bridge. What they want is a federal bailout for their pension debt that they've been building for years. There so, you yeah, go. Yeah. And that's what they're going after. That's true. Yeah, they're going after that. Yeah. That's the, that's the, that's the, uh, next, that's yeah. the next thing on the track. That, that We had three... Three programs, the CARE Act, and then, you know, there's three that's people right. that are going to go for phase that's four, right. and that's going for what Ron says, that they want to take care of the problems they created. Governor Cuomo re reduced his Medicaid commitment prior to this. He sold off ventilators prior to this, and he had a big dispute with the Nursing Association in New York and fired a bunch of them. That's Cuomo. Ron, that's a great call. Thank you. Can I tell you another thing? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's not forget that it's Governor Cuomo who suppressed his own state government scientists finding that fracking in western New York State would not be harmful to the environment so he could continue shutting it down and depriving his state of billions of dollars in revenue because he wanted to cater to environmental extremism. Yeah, and he let Amazon get away because AOC didn't like it. Remember that one? All right, 25,000 jobs. All right, hey, thanks, Ron. Yeah. That's a good point. It really is. Uh, but I want to. Have you heard about his brother, Chris? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Chris Cuomo is on CNN. He's 50, 49 years old, and he's a weightlifting freak. And apparently, according to Tucker Carlson, he takes steroids. Now we can't prove that. We don't know it. But he's had a number of encounters with ordinary citizens. About a month ago, he almost got into a fight with a guy, and then Tucker Carlson had on his program yesterday another man who was riding his bicycle, and apparently Cuomo is building a house somewhere, and this guy lives around there, and he's riding on his bicycle, and the guy that was riding on the bicycle kept emphasizing it was a steel-framed house. I don't know what that means. People kept talking about it. Yeah, so <laughs> Cuomo has had the virus. He had the virus, right? And uh, he was oh, his program from his home where he was quarantined. So this guy sees Cuomo standing outside this house, apparently with his wife, another person, and two young people, which could have been uh, Chris's children. So this guy says, "How come you people? He didn't know what was going on first. How come you people don't have your masks on and you're in a group?" 
And Cuomo came running at him without the mask, and he's shouting and screaming at him, who are you to tell me? And then he recognized it's Cuomo, and he said, every night on your show, you tell people to wear their masks. Right. <laughs> so he was going to, so the guy, he went away, he was because he thought he was going to be violent with him. So now I ask you, if that guy was a Republican on Fox and had acted like that, he'd have been fired. And the New York Times and CNN would have called for his firing, right? right. Oh, yes. But John wanted to ask you something. Yes. You know, uh, last week we were talking about this. The session ended early. And I tell you, it kind of surprised me because I was under the impression that the session was required to be 90 days long. Yeah, I just seemed like to be remarkable. He's going to get you. Okay? I mean, we were always that. taught this. You know, when okay, it would well, snow real bad, the state police would come and pick us up. And take us to hey, the Bob, general Paul, assembly. Get you. I'm just making sure you have to here. be there. All right, I'm making sure. Don't worry. But no, stick. it was cut short, and then they said, "Well, the only ah, thing required to do in the constitution all. is complete the budget. budget, pass the budget." Right. And uh, that was kind of uh, that was all kind of strange how that was done. But at the last minute, they passed a constitutional amendment, which does not require the governor's signature, and it. Totally, it's earth-shaking, game-changing. It takes away the power of the governor to submit the budget and control the budget and gives it to 187 legislators where they can move the money around to whatever the hell they want. This is chaos. And it's going to be okay. on the ballot in November. Right, Bob, let's see if I can and it's on. written in such All a right. way that it's very misleading. It's, it says this is designed to balance the budget. If you ever notice, every time they put this type of thing on the, on the ballots, they always write it so it's very confusing to people. So in essence, if you're kind of like for it, you almost have to vote against it. And if you're against it, you kind of got to vote for it. And it's very misleading what they do, and it's misleading in the way the language is written. And I really think that this is going to end up... I'm misled. Are you? Oh, there, there's no question. Yeah. It's a total disaster. We've had this form of government where the the governor submits the budget, and the General Assembly has the authority to cut it. And it's right. worked well. Yes. I mean, that's, you know, it's not like, what is the crisis here? There is no crisis. Except for hell the of a show tonight. H-A-I-L. Hell of a show. We have a lot more leftists of a show. that have been elected, and they're very borderline. Some of them are socialists. I mean, we had a They've state. admitted it. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, admitted admit it. And he said, not only am I, but there's another guy here. He's a socialist, too. Right. Um, and they're very, the, the ideals and the concepts and, and everything about these folks is very much to the left. They're very radical. They're very radical ideas. And so. And anti-business. Yeah. Oh, very much anti-business. Their feeling is that. You yeah, live hard, live hard. As you know, where we're going to spend Can you the say money we're going to steal from you. That you're going to be. Turn it back. And you yes, I so can. Live hard. Right. That. That you won't find. It's you all right. You did a good job. Did I? Right. Did I? Right. True. And it's not going to change. You know that, Jeff. No, it's not. And, and, and it is a big concern. And I, I hope that you know we can get this out minutes. into the public to realize this. I don't. Is I, not see, I don't know how. WCBM. The I've got a show from the public in reference to the Maryland General Assembly. Even since Cedric, people, home, man. Let me see. And a lot of business people have no idea how bad this is going to be. But uh, the Montgomery County and Prince George's County now control the state of Maryland. The people of Baltimore County are stepchildren. And we have like no authority. The conservatives the have no authority. When I was in the legislature the 30 years ago, when I first started out, we had 42 delegates from Baltimore City, and Montgomery County had 10. Now they oh, have 40, God, yeah. and we have 10. You know, I mean, it's like reversed. Yeah. So, what, per, what percentage would you say is conservative? Oh, and the, 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 the General Assembly, 20%. I wouldn't say 20% anymore. No. No. And, 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 and no, no Democrats. There's not one Democrat. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And, and what you're yeah. saying, and I, you know, you can say this. All right, Cedric, hold on. What party now is trying to get rid right. of conservatives? Right. Yeah, they're, they are yeah. purging. They're, this governor is a rhino. He's a Democrat, and he's running what he calls the chosen people. And the people that he runs in the Republican Party, we lost ten delegates in the last election because of him. He was running his chosen people against incumbents, and they lost to the Democrats. But here's the big question. Now, when this comes up, 
This is the most important uh, constitutional moment in the history of the state of Maryland. Coming I thought up. I heard smoke. Now, the Baltimore Sun will think it's okay. Jesus Washington told me I heard smoke. I heard smoke. Mm. George Soros will invest. <laughs> That's that for all this country. <laughs> They will have ten billion dollars. I feel presence. It's I feel presence. And I don't, what is this? I don't know what this is. I just caught it under the desk. It was moving at the desk. I thought they exterminated me here. Fight. The level playing field. Is this? That's my lovely niece. She came and she was on the show last week. So she came again to see the famous Rom Savage. Trying to get her on the air, but we got a lot of stuff on. We'll try. And we're do not talk to Vegas. Will he spend money on promoting <laughs> to the people, exposing, say informing, educating? Oh, that was great. I said, say something on now. This is a bad, bad bill. Okay. Or will he spend his money <laughs> against Republicans running his chosen oh, so I think he'll spend it against Republicans. You see it in the General Assembly right now. We're on the commercial, baby. Let's start Assembly. again. We're going to do it again. You see Republican leadership stand up. Like, for instance, on the budget and said, you know, this is a great budget. Yeah, I've heard that, right? Voted for this. I never voted for a budget, but this one I can vote for. And, and this had like, seven hundred million dollars in taxes and the Kerwin Carlin multi billion dollar education bill. Well, even there you had um in the Senate we had an I don't think any senator voted against the Kerwin. <laughs> I, I was shocked by that. Well, is the governor going to veto Kerwin? I, I don't know. All right. All right. It's coming. It's coming. He, said, he said he would. Did he publicly say that? Yes. He oh. did say that, that he would veto this thing. How Not the public like a bathroom. I mean, if that was said, oh. it passed in the General Assembly. So what might happen now? I don't know. I don't the know. governor has the guts to vote against the children. Well, he did also mention that he was going to vote or he was going to veto anything that had a significant price tag, which he's got to. He really has got to. We cannot. We, we can't afford that right now. No, because <laughs> we're gonna, what I think out. coming into the next General Assembly, we can look anything from probably eight, ten billion dollars. We're in the hole. Right. You know, because of everything that's happened and the lack of revenue that's coming into the state. You think all it's the, that much? Oh, yeah. I well, think the controller over. said right now it's four billion. Yeah. So if you're at four billion, we can, but you, you also oh, got to consider that. How much are we, we got spending four people in coming on, baby. to got four people dealing with this virus right, right. now? And, and I know the governor at one point already said we've spent a billion. So there's five billion there. Yeah. And if and depending on how much longer we're out. Yeah, yeah, it could be because even when business start up again, okay, you got to recognize it's like when you open your doors, it's not going to all of a sudden be, hey, you're packed, That's you know, right. so right. it trickle in. Do you have any idea of when that bill is supposed to be signed, or is it going to be? Quiet, where he just lets it go. No, it's it's well. It's, that's a good point because if he lets it go, it becomes in law. May, I think. Yeah, we have to find out when that's going to be. What's the name of the bill? Blueprint for something. Yeah, blueprint for Maryland. Yeah, blueprint for Maryland. Yeah. Blueprint for Maryland. Thank you, Bill. All right, we're going to take <laughs> a we got to take a break. We'll be right back. Our final break. <laughs> <laughs> Wear some what flowers in your hair. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. I wear a fedora. Is that good? Get into huh? late night, more of a steady rain on the way, and we could hear thunder. We'll fall back to around 50. Early rain for Sunday. The storms developing for the afternoon as we hit the low 60s. For our Sunday night, like those occasional scattered showers and storms. And we are going to run that temperature back to around 45. Straight shower, possible for early Monday. I'm Jeff Eno for the Letter Channel for Talk Radio 680 WCBS. Are you always apologizing for your dog's behavior? Need help communicating? At Canine Concepts, we can solve your problems. The answer to your problems is a phone call away. Call 410 477 2000 for a free demo evaluation. Call 410 477 2000. Obedience protection. Handicapped assistance, boarding, grooming, puppy preschool. Visit canineconcepts.com. The best for your dog. Call 410 477 2000. For the best hits of the 60s, oh, 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 70s, 
and 80s. Listen to the music at home, in the car, or at work. Wake up with a person person and get radio hugs from Diane Lynn. Weekdays at 6 and 10 a.m. Baltimore's classic hits are on 99.9 FM at Harford County, Q1370.com, the Q1370 mobile app, and on music radio, Q1370. Please listen. This is important. Anyone can be affected by the prescription opioid crisis. If you think of it hurt by Purdue or its prescription opioids like OxyContin, you may be entitled to compensation as part of Purdue's bankruptcy, but you have to file a claim. Claims may include overdose, death, substance use disorder, lost wages, and neonatal abstinence syndrome. A confidential claim can be filed by individuals, a legal guardian, by survivors, or relatives of people who have died or are disabled. The deadline to file the claim is June 30th, 2020, or you will lose your right to file a claim. For more information, visit PurduePharmaClaims.com, or you can call toll-free 1-844-217-0912. That's 1-844-217-0912. Paid for by Prime Clerk. LLC. Investors need steady cash flow? Don't take stock losses. NRIA is making special accommodation to help at this time. Under the new stimulus law, you can now borrow up to $100,000 without penalty from your 401k or IRA and invest. To help, NRIA is extending a high 10% monthly investor payout from our real estate secured Class A buildings fund. Maintain your 401k and IRA stock position for the market rebound and diversify into real estate with 10% monthly cash flow. You're backed by a 14-year track record and prime in property with $750 million of new construction. You'll receive 10% steady cash flow. Keep your stocks and obtain returns with bonuses targeted at 18 to 21%. Use the new stimulus law to maintain your 401k and IRA stock upside and get 10% cash flow now. Call 201-210-2727. That's 201-210-2727. An offer to buy or sell any security is only made by a private placement memorandum. Read it first. Past performance is no guarantee of future results. National is a real estate development firm. Borrow from the fixed income bond portion of 401k IRA funds. CSA NRIA.net. Listen every Sunday from 6.05 to 6.20 a.m. for a broadcast from the internationally known St. Jude Shrine in Baltimore. St. Jude is the patron saint of despair and hopeless cases. Join us in prayer every Sunday from 6.05 to 6.20 a.m. on WCBM. Are you facing tax problems? No matter how long it's been since you last filed, if you have faced unemployment, loss of a family member, divorce or illness and feel you can't afford to fix your tax problems, contact Advantage Tax Service, the tax killer. With the Tax Killer Rescue Plan, you have options you'll find nowhere else. Since 1989, Rose Harbaugh, former IRS employee, has helped many Marylanders and others outside the state resolve their problems. Advantage Tax Service has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and works overtime to assist the taxpayer to avoid additional penalty and interest. They are here, all year, preparing each return as if it were their own. And Rose Harbaugh, owner of Advantage Tax Service, met and was interviewed by Tom Marr when he did her ads. So give Rose Harbaugh, former IRS employee, a call at 410-869-TAXX, 410-869-8299, or online at taxkiller.com. That's taxkiller.com. When a loved one, your father, your sister, your aunt, your grandparent, is facing a cancer diagnosis, you want them to have access to the most promising cancer treatments available. I'm Sadiqa Martin Green, and when my mother was diagnosed with cancer, our world changed forever. I wanted to know that she was getting the best treatments available. This experience made me so passionate about spreading the news of treatment options, including clinical trials. That's why I'm joining Saints of Cancer to get information to the people who need most, those who have been diagnosed with cancer and their loved ones. Clinical trials introduce new hope for patients, providing access to cutting edge and potentially life saving new treatments while patients receive the best current care or treatments available. My hope is that all people diagnosed with cancer have access to effective treatments that will make them long term survivors, like my mom. Talk to your doctor to see if a clinical trial may be the best choice for you or a loved one. To learn more, visit standingtocancer.org forward slash clinical trials today. And now more of the Pat McDonough Show on Talk Radio 680 WCBM and worldwide at WCBM.com. 
All right, we are here for our final segment. I'm Pat McDonough with Valerie McDonough, Joe Bodler, Mark Sullivan. Great show, a lot of calls. I'm going to try to get through them. We'll go to Bob and Parkville. We'll give everybody a few minutes. Uh, all go on, Bob. Bob. A lot happening. Okay. Go on, Bob. Bob and Bob, good evening. Good evening, good evening, Joe. Everyone there. I, uh... I had a call, I think I did once or twice, to Seagull, was owned by a man named Lorenzo. Yeah, that's, a, uh, that's, uh, that's Mark's place. Seagull, yeah. Yeah, the old Seagull. Yeah, come down and visit. That's a long time ago, my friend. Oh, man. The, uh, I was there. I was at the Seagull. Yeah. I didn't do that. I didn't do it though. Cosmo, good night, brother. I'm tired as shit. That's very nice. Very good. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, Vegas, hello. Hello. I think they are. Here's the other one. Hello, Vegas. I want to let you know that. Yeah, I really like We got an eye on you. Yeah. What happened? I mean, where's the protocols there? I have no idea. All right, let's go back to where we're going. This thing about the Eastern Shore and Western Maryland, they have a lot in common. And now more of the Pat McDonough Show on Talk Radio 68. Thank, thank you, Ron. You're welcome. Montana and Wyoming, Cody. No! Mexico, and say what they have in common is they're not densely populated. <laughs> I got their attention. Primarily, ninety-nine percent of heavy populated they have areas, to go to the such as New York, Paul. which is more populated than New York, eight and a half million people. Island town. 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 Island if you want to let people go back to work, I love a doctor. Don't get me wrong. He loves a doctor. I don't trust. But that's beside the point. A good doctor would know if you're going to do this in Western Maryland, Eastern Shore, that's the place to do it. That's right. We don't want 300,000 people to lose the city at one time either. No. 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 Yeah, it makes sense. All right, hey, Bob, we got to move on. we got a lot of callers. Thanks for holding on. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bob. Here is Mark in Baltimore. Mark, good evening. Go on, Mark. Yes, good evening. She's going to go to get to my main point. I just want to let you know this coming Tuesday for 20 It's a special day for me. Uh, that yeah, happens to be my birthday, and I will be turning 60. I mean, 6 zero. Really. Ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> about that. Thank you very much. Six now, uh, like everything, every year, we're, uh, the Jewish community or the small business community has suffered as well, except for the fact that our two strict kosher supermarkets are all closed. Everything else that I know of, for the most part, has been closed. And this is important right. for us because um, you bought uh, 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 Judaica stores and everything. It's not really open. It's something we already had the holiday of Passover that just happened and, uh, two uh, weeks ago. He said you can talk about you know, the virus we or small business in there. In a while. Uh, day schools are closed. Large yeah, schools. yeah, you are. It's at your community. Okay, you got it. Right. Hey, Mark, let me ask you a question. Uh, what, what congressional yeah, district are you in? You got it. I'm in the third congressional district. Oh, uh, get to oh you know, I thought you might have been in Cummings district. No, certainly not. I'm, now, I'm in the third. Now, I, well, because I You're remember you at it? one time, I believe you that's had said that you had been a judge on the elections. That's correct. Uh, a chief uh, precinct judge, one of the, the precincts. That's correct. Well, see, there you go. Uh, what do you think about this mail in vote? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, because of the way things are going, and I do not want to take the chance myself of working in on June 2nd, whatever place there is, because we don't know what's happening with this virus and all that. I am concerned about this ballot going on. Um, you know, people can stop it, if you will. You understand that? Sure. This, and it does happen. I, I mean, I don't know what else I could say. Well, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame anybody for being careful, you know? All right, Mark. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's your show off? Thank you. Bye. Right. Here is uh, Bob in Baltimore. All right, Bob, Bob, good evening. Yeah, hi, everyone. It came up earlier in the discussion of the role of the trade associations, and you mentioned Ellen Sauerbrey wrote to the governor that the small businesses are suffering. I think that 
uh, the trade associations, one of which she is a member, it's Maryland Free, and it used to be called Maryland Business for Responsive Government. I think those groups ought to put pressure on Governor Hogan, whom I think uh, has issued very restrictive uh, uh, guidelines, very very strong restrictions on the economy. He should be moving along much quicker. And uh, a week before, no, I, I think the last week, I called two of the national trade associations to, to uh, uh, give them that pretty much same message that they. Oh yes, yeah, what, really what's your name? Groups. For representing industry now, I know Governor oh, Hogan. What's your name? Uh, man, okay, hold on, man. On, on open the economy says, man, and where are you calling from? But I, I, I think if, from what Ellen has and, done, uh, I think that if no, uh, I, mean, no. I don't, I don't know what group and what and it says they let like people talk about mind, the small businesses and the problems they're having and the virus. Which that the trade association should be uh, calling on him to move. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. All the fires are excellent. Thank you. Uh, now, Mark, you're I'm a member of the Beverage Association. Beverage Association. How about the Restaurant Association? You're not a member. Okay. So, I mean, what are we doing? Well, Governor Hogan is not In other words, what he was talking about, contacting the governor. Well, I don't um, think we should contact the governor. Pretty involved, um, and I really don't know what. Uh, they have a state group also, and I'm right. sure they're probably trying to contact the governor. <laughs> But that's a good point. But I think what it is, for the first part, the phase one, whatever you want to call this, people are being beneficial of the doubt for the governor. He's trying to do this. This is dangerous. It's scary stuff. But now we're getting cabin fever, and we're in it, 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 nature. So now it's going to be starting cabin to be fever. more protests. I mean, I know every, I know every, every, I know every carry out number, and I know every movie on TV, man. I can't take a new movie. So, Valerie, you've been very fun. You've been very quiet. That means when I go home, I'm going to hear. It. Oh. <laughs> Just sitting here listening. All right, here's Cedric in Baltimore. Cedric, good evening. Go, Cedric. Good evening. Uh, Pat, uh, I just wanted to know whether or not, at the end of this, uh, this whole thing, this uh, coronavirus, you know, once they open up the economy, are any of these trained professionals that shut down the economy based on faulty information? You know, saying Remember, it's going to be 2.2 2 trillion. Call now. Benny Sedano. You know, call Benny Sedano. That's who you want to call for any produce. Call 410 799 7833. It's Benny Sedano. Cause, let us serve you. Get it? Let us serve you. And say we were wrong. I doubt it. You know, it's a great point you're talking about. I'll, I'll tell you why. The speculation, the thoughts, the ideas, the opinions, there's going to be a tsunami of this when this thing settles down. I think people are going to also start to focus on China. China is starting to get a lot of criticism all around the world. It's becoming crystal clear that they delayed eight weeks before they announced anything because they're a communist, tyrannical country and they cracked down. And the WHO, the World Health Organization, was one of their puppets. And they were co-conspirators in this plot to deny that something was happening. And the result are millions and millions of people around the world. And now it's not just President Trump. It's not just the United States. And also, which is interesting in the polling that's been done by, uh, I think it's Roper and Gallup, the Democrats, the, the, the Republicans are at 90% ticked off at the Chinese and believe they lied to us. And the Democrats are at 80%. It's, it's like a bipartisan thing. Yeah. That should usher in a, 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 a Trump so presidency all over again. But I think he's going to turn this economy. I think this economy is going to come back up. It won't be what it was because we got to do all the social distance things. We got to do all this wearing face masks and the restaurants are not going to be the same. A lot of things are going to be changed. This was made for me. will come back slowly. My face masks. It's going to take a minute. But I think oh. that China and the rest of those One people that sold this bill of goods to us owe, us owe us an apology. And I hope. Well, it might owe us more than that. Owe us some money. They yeah. owe us some money too. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Thank you, Senator. Yeah, I think uh, at the world level, the global level, is going to be a huge debate. Uh, China has certainly worn out its welcome in a lot of places with this uh, with this virus. They were already in trouble. China has worn out their welcome. Among their own people. But I will so always go to the Chinese restaurant because China and I less than like Szechuan beef and General Tao's chicken. <laughs> it's about 10,000 of them. 
and they are in two. They're in two oh, camps. God damn it. Camp well, that was my coronavirus uh, commercial. <laughs> very much a, a tyrant who wants to crack down on free speech. The other group is with the founder of state uh, capitalism, uh, Dang, D-E-N-G, who was there with the Nixon. And there's kind of a thing going on here now. You know, you've got oh, Hong Kong, right. you've got a growing elderly population, you have a food situation over there. Um, you know, the Soviet Union came tumbling down. Nobody, nobody ever thought they'd go into the dustbin of history. But anyway, that is it. Valerie, I want to thank you. Uh, Joe Bodler, state delegate, thank you. And of course, Mark Sullivan, the president thank of you, the uh, you go. You great know. marina and restaurant <laughs> Riverwise. Riverwise. And, uh, and, and Ron, and we want to thank uh, Andy Harris thank for you. joining us. And Pastor Lewis, always remember truth and knowledge guarantee liberty. Keep the faith and keep bunching. Stay connected with stimulating talk and breaking news on Talk Radio 680 WCBM. Wow. Getting back to work. I'm Mary Corsetti, Fox News. John Hopkins University researchers say the global death toll from the coronavirus right. has surpassed 200,000. That was a great show, eh? Restrictions are slowly scaling. Oh, wrong mouse. Ah, wrong mouse.